My daughter beat cancer today. Best Xmas gift ever! Can I get a mother flipping hoya? Hi, diddly ho, neighborino. What you doing over there? Oh, feeling the big sads, I see. Well, if there's one thing I've learned in my psychological degree, it's that the best cure to stopping sadness is to not be sad. I know, crazy. Who'd have thunk it? Don't worry, that therapy session's on the house. In the meantime, if that doesn't work, I don't want to check out r slash made me smile. By the way, my name's Jack. This is MK. Hello. Welcome. I'm, I'm sure you're aware of that already, but let's get started. Today is the day this little lady becomes my daughter. Happy adoption day. Best Christmas present ever. Though I'd, I'd say, honestly, that, uh, that's going to leave a lot of hair around the place. And let's not even get started with the dog. Social media has some great gems of holiday advice. Praising social media in a good way, that's, um, that feels weird. My younger brother is trans. My parents have been horrendous about dead naming and misgendering him. At Thanksgiving, I used an air horn to correct them. I fixed a two to three year long problem in two seconds. 10 out of 10 would recommend this training method. Absolute genius. It's like a perfect blend of being violently disruptive while not being physically violently disruptive. What this really exposes to is the fact that clearly the parents could gender and name their child properly. They were just choosing not to. Ah, uh, what am I doing? This has made me smile, not made me sad and depressing about reality. Ah, next image. Growing up, I didn't realize how poor we were. My parents were amazing at providing for us. We loved watching baseball games and I wanted to go to a game so bad, we could never afford it. To make up for it, while we were at school, my mum made up tickets to that night's game and money for us to spend. When we got home, she had set up chairs in front of the TV and numbered them, gave us the tickets and money and told us to go clean up before the game. Come game time, we lined up at the doorway. My dad took our tickets and told us how to get to our seats. After the game started, my parents went to the kitchen and had a tray of hot dogs, candy and soda. Hot dogs, get your hot dogs! We got out the money my mum made and brought whatever snacks we wanted. Best baseball game I've ever been to. When I was 13, my mother purposely burnt a blue teddy bear I had to teach me a lesson. For the past 10 years, it haunted me. My girlfriend surprised me with this bear as a pure gesture of kindness. Now, I am a 23-year-old male with a teddy bear and have no shame! I am so grateful for my girlfriend! Oh, so your mother mutilated your childhood friend. That's... <laughs> is that... Is that a lesson somewhere there? I... Oh. I'm just too big. You guys will look really small in the photo with me. Let's try another way. Hooray! I knew those weekend photography classes were useful for something. Almost six years ago before my dad passed, he gave my sister this $10 bill to give to me on my 21st birthday so he could buy me my first beer. Cheers, Pop. Having this one for you. You're welcome, son. What did you get? Apple juice. Good boy, keep it healthy. One time, about five years into our relationship, my girlfriend, now wife, and I were in separate rooms in our one-bedroom apartment in early December. From the other room, she hollered to me, What do you want for Christmas? I had been working full-time, taking part-time university classes to finish my degree, and had been volunteering as part of a youth mentor program. So I said, all I really want is a break. Three weeks later, I'm unwrapping a very heavy shoebox. After getting through the mountain of duct tape and several layers of wrapping paper, I had my very own brick. I really didn't understand what you wanted it for, she said, but you sounded so sure of it, so here you go. Cue about 10 minutes of laughs, and now that brick sits proudly on my desk. Every time I am overwhelmed or feeling like I've taken on too much, I look at it, pick it up, have a little laugh, and put it back so I can carry on. Best gift ever. You know, they say communication is key to a good relationship, but I mean, this, this couple's really challenging that. My sister's dog was at the park, and another golden retriever ran up to play. After talking to the owner, it turns out they're brothers! <laughs> yes! I was losing my hair due to anxiety, and it made me feel sad and powerless. Then I said frick it and buzzed it all off. Here's my first hairless picture. No more powerlessness. Hair or no hair, I'm still worthy of happiness. Damn right you are, you beautiful blue-eyed. Seriously, why are your eyes so big and blue? They're so mesmerizing. Oh my goodness, blue-eyed beauty. Canada just announced it'll provide the new COVID vaccine to every Canadian who wants it for free. Canada has ordered more vaccines per capita than any other nation. They're planning to donate excess supply to impoverished countries. 
humanity. See, that's how you take care of your people. Cancer free! Last surgery showed no more signs of cancer! Yeah, man, you destroy that star sign. I really hate to brag, but I have a private chef that prepares my lunches. Uh, hello, rich people? Troy's joining you. Yes, I'll hold. Meanwhile, in good news, my 11-month-old son just came off his ventilator this morning following a ruptured brain aneurysm 12 days ago. What? He's going to make it to his first birthday on Christmas Eve. Oh no, a Christmas baby. Ha <laughs> ha, child, you were gonna make your parents so poor. What's the single most important item in your home that has value of $1 or less? A brown plastic realistic cockroach named Freddy. We got it over 20 years ago. I don't remember where or why. Maybe a Halloween party? Anyway. My wife and I have been hiding it for each other ever since. It could take months for Freddy to pop up, but he always does. She will find it buried in the sugar pot. I will later find it inside a pair of shoes I rarely wear. It often makes us jump and give us a small fright. I'll hear my wife let a surprise gasp and go, Oh, Freddy! For me, Freddy is a great symbol that our relationship is still solid after all these years, and that we still take time to have fun to surprise each other. So what kept your relationship strong? Well, just a bit of live, laugh, and cockroaches. I graduated college today. First generation, low income, and first from my tribe to graduate from Stanford. Wild. Hell yes, you be proud of that. I know in the grand scheme of things, this is really just someone becoming another statistic for the sake of progress, but it is progress that they are contributing to. Like you proudly wave that flag. My grandma, who is in isolation, accidentally dialed a wrong phone number yesterday and spoke to a random lady, also isolated for 20 minutes about her life. They've exchanged numbers so they can keep in contact and meet up once this is all over, and I think that is lovely. Yo, why hasn't someone set something up like that yet? Like some sort of app where you just get to look up people and you can like try and match with each other to just chat during isolation. It's like Tinder, but without the D-bags and OnlyFans plugs. I have COVID and my fiance leaves food for me and then sits in the hallway so we can eat together. Tonight, I got surprise hot cocoa. <laughs> Why did that trigger me? Jesus. <laughs> Don't worry, I've been tested. It's a negative. It's not COVID. It's just something else that's killing me. My favorite part about opening gifts labeled from mum and dad is that my dad is just as surprised to see what is inside as I <laughs> I'm just going to overdub myself here. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha, ha ha, God, ha ha, yes. Why is our daughter crying? She won't go to bed unless we find her Elsa dress. Just tell her to let it go. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'll go look for it. After not seeing my grandparents for months, they finally figured out how to work FaceTime. This was my grandpa's face when he saw me. Ha diddly ho, neighborino. You can seriously tell how happy he is just based on the fact his eyes are literally shaped into rainbows. We are open Christmas day from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. If you are alone, pop in for a hug and a mince pie. You don't have to buy anything. We are family. Hey, that's not COVID safe. Mince pies are very transmissible with this disease. My eight-year-old is battling her uncle in a prank war. Last night, she delivered this devastating blow. You're not dealing with an average eight-year-old anymore, Uncle Steven. For as a preteen, I have more access to far greater and obscene words. Behold, this fart is merely the beginning of the chaos about to be spread. This is what 50 bucks means to a small business. $50 is nothing to a billion dollar company. Start shopping small. Um, whoever just placed a $50 plus order in my shop, thank you so much. That literally just paid for half of my groceries tomorrow. What's your biggest flex that you'll never tell anyone? I was in the grocery store and saw an older woman standing in the aisle comparing what was in her cart to what was in her wallet, obviously counting to see if she could afford everything. Based on her body language, as she walked away, I could tell that the answer was no. So I took a 20 out and walked up to her and said, ma'am, when you were over there just a second ago, this fell out of your wallet. I handed her the bill and just walked away so she wouldn't be embarrassed if she figured out I was lying. I did hear her say thank you, so I half turned and told her, you're welcome, have a nice night. It was only $20, but I think it made a difference to her. And that felt amazing. Oh my God. So I signed up to this organization thing where uni students studying French get paired with old people in France who are lonely to have conversations over Skype. I just had my first one and it was the most wholesome thing. My French grandma is 91 and she likes knitting and lives in a retirement home and asked me at the end, I'm not boring you too much, am I? Would you like to call again next week? 
I just got this message from the organizer. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna cry. It says, thank you for the conversation. It was really nice. She can't wait to call you again. Ah, uh, I mean, say what you want about how technology just makes people more distant and not social. Like, freaking technology is amazing, dude. Let's, let's be real. Oh, welcome back, Dad Notes. Wife, pregnant, 10 months, breastfeeds 12 months, quits job to stay at home with our daughter. Me, pretends to go downstairs behind the couch. Daughter's survey says, Dad is my best friend. Ah, oh, men. Making women go against fellow women. I'll be honest, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't keep the same theme color of their clothing, but I'm also very thankful that all of them are in the same photos, even after all this time. I know this is pandering, but I've been depressed for months and haven't hit the gym during that time. Mr. Schwarzenegger, can you please tell me to get off my lazy butt and hit the gym? I swear to everything I hold dear that I will snap out of it and go. I'm not gonna be that hard on you. Please don't be that hard on yourself. We all go through challenges. We all go through failure. Sometimes life is a workout, but the key thing is you get up. Just move a little. Roll out of bed and do some push-ups or go for a walk. Just do something, one step at a time. I hope you feel better and get back to the gym, but don't beat yourself up because that's just useless talk. It doesn't get you closer to the gym and don't be afraid to ask for help. Good luck. Oh, by the way, that was from Schwarzenegger himself too. So, you know, it's uh, wow. Whenever my parrot flips out and gets angry, I say, hey, in this soft cup, oh, wait. <laughs> Did you put your name in the goblet of fire? Dumbledore asked calmly. Hey, in this soft, comforting voice, and then talk to him gently. He calms down within seconds. Now, I just got frustrated enough at something that I went, ah! My parrot said, hey, all softly and sweetly, like a dozen times over the next minute. It made me feel better instantly. My parrot is better at conflict de-escalation than most people. Okay, no, to be fair, parrots are cute and adorable and beautiful creatures. If I, <laughs> if I kept saying to my girlfriend, hey, like over and over again for 12 minutes, I'm pretty sure she would beat my face in. <laughs> 12 years ago, I was homeless. Today, I'm a homeowner. Okay, the one thing I find trivial and frustrating about home ownership is that in reality, it's never immediately possible to achieve it. There's no cheat or shortcut to do it. It's just time and effort. And I hate that. I hate that I have to be patient. Well done job to you, OP. I am absolutely envious in the most supportive of ways. This is Chester. When I was in Afghanistan, I got a care package from one of those Adopt-a-Soldier programs that lets families send care packages to servicemen and women who are deployed overseas. Anyway, I got this care package and it came with the usual stuff baby wipes, crackers, peanut butter. The dad threw in a pack of cigarettes and there was some jerky. But there is also a little beanie baby goldfish and a handwritten note from a seven-year-old girl that said, Dear soldier, I wasn't even mad. I hope you are doing well. I'm sorry you have to miss Thanksgiving with your family. This is my friend Chester. He keeps me safe from monsters, but I think you need him more than I do. I hope he keeps you safe from the monsters you're fighting. Take good care of him for me. You bet your ass, that little fish was in my pocket every time I went on patrol. Have what thoughts you have on soldiers and war as you like. That is an adorable story. And clearly by the look on that clownfish's face, he's seen things. <laughs> this is a picture of my grandmother with one million dollars. She worked for City Federal Savings Bank. Getty Images now owns the picture. She passed away two days ago, and I just wanted to show off my amazing grandmother, Mary Reed. Look at her there, just chilling next to what is like the most difficult thing to ever experience attaining for most of us. Eh, just another day for me. After leaving an abusive relationship, being homeless, unemployed, no family except my two-year-old daughter, I get to hang this on my tree and it means so much. Wow, well freaking done. Honestly, that is an achievement, especially in that year. I mean, I think we can all agree that year was very difficult for us financially. Well, unless you're in some of the industries where actually they gained a lot of money from it, but oh, let's, let's, let's not get into that drama. Shout out to men who haven't felt okay lately, but you still get up every day and refuse to quit. Stay strong, kings. Hey, this one's talking about me. George County Animal Shelter, big muscly man man, driving away in his big pickup truck. What did he adopt? Why the most cutest freaking adorable thing ever, look at it. Ah, that's so cute. Give me the 5,000 subs so I can brag at the elderly home. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. No matter what life has given us, we've always found something to smile about. I'm proud to finally call you my wife. Oh, I, 
Well, I didn't know this was happening, guys. <laughs> I was not prepared. I, um, I, I'm flattered. Thank you. Uh, oh. Oh, right. Yeah, this is a post about your... Uh, okay. No, no, that's no, cool. It's cool. No, it's fine. I'm sorry. That was, that was my mistake. I, I completely assumed wrong. No, I'm happy for you, really. I hope you and that cow have a lovely future together. A parent's love for their child. A year after my granddaughter was born, my daughter was telling me how wonderful her toddler is, how smart she is, and just all around lovable she is. She then said, I don't think I could ever love anyone as much as I love my daughter. Then she paused for a moment as realization washed over her face. Dad, is this how much you love me? Bingo, kiddo. Now you know. Meanwhile, in Edmonton at some 7-Eleven, we understood that schools are closed and that some families rely on school lunches. So Monday to Friday, 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., kids 18 and younger can have a slice of pizza and a banana with a bag of gulp on us. Yep, I said bag of gulp, I'm committing to it. That's literally what they get, a bag and some gulp in it. <laughs> My wife is making chicken nuggets and fries for our daughter's lunch, and she laughed and said it's fake McDonald's, so then I said McDonald's, and as she just stared at me, not laughing, all I could think of is, man, that would have gone viral on Twitter. My 64-year-old mother told us on Thanksgiving that she got accepted into a PhD program at UPenn. It's never too late to do what you want. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Screw this. I'm being an arsonist. My father turned 90 and wanted to do a photo shoot to be posted on social media, even though he isn't on it. And just look at those fashionable poses. Oh, look out, Vogue. I've always wanted pink hair, but just never had the courage to do anything but blonde. I'll be 46 in January. Yes, good on you. Present yourself how you like to present yourself. Of course, there is a limit, especially if you're a nudist. Speaking of expressing yourself in pink hair, my grandmother promised all of us if she made it to 90, she would get a pink mohawk. Well, she made it to 90. Rock on, grandma. I think what I love about this most is that she clearly won this. Like, she didn't find this a bad thing at all. My dog trued a hole through his towel and stuck his head through it. Now he wears it around the house like a poncho. Hola, big floof. My wife's conservative religious high school wouldn't let me take her to prom 10 years ago because we're both women. So I threw her one in our home for our fifth anniversary. Oh, damn! Are you like a freaking functions event designer or something? Because you, <laughs> that is a talent. After 70 years of neglect, my dad decided to start taking care of himself. He's lost 75 pounds this year and I've never been prouder of him. Yeah, nice work, daddy-o. Sure, it's a late start, but it's a good start nonetheless. Uh, for those who are interested, Schwarzenegger is quite active on Reddit, especially around fitness and is endlessly encouraging. Uh, you could just say his username, bro. Say it three times to summon our king. Works every time. I hope you all are having a great day. Can you imagine how fun it is for me to get these notifications every other week with some memory from decades ago? I am not the type of person who looks back too much, so these posts are heaven. Thank you all. I suffer from major depression. These rings represent three days in a row that I have met my workout and movement goals. It's not a lot, but it's a start. Ooh, you must tell me what app this is. That looks very satisfying to accomplish. My dad was going to bed tonight and he needed to inform me that Santa was in Brazil. I'm a full ass adult and I can't tell you how much I love my dad calling to give me Santa updates. Merry Christmas, everyone. I mean, a bit late to be sharing that one, but hey, that's no, still good, still lovely. So I was just looking through my phone and turns out these good uh, female genitalias took some banger selfies after they took my drunk butt home. Bloody legends. Oh, I love that they're smiling, but you can see in their eyes that this is just like another day for them on shift. My son begged me for this stupid shark at the souvenir shop, then photobombed my pick. It's now my favorite pick from our visit to the Oregon coast. Wow, what a beautiful- <laughs> ah, That's my house. My son asked for a new Xbox controller for Christmas. I didn't think about why he needed a new one until he opened it up and got all excited because now his sister could play games with him. He didn't want the controller for himself. He wanted it so they could play together. As someone with a sibling, I can absolutely vouch for the total joy you get when your sibling can play games with you. Memories like the corner of my mind. Oh my god, my voice is not healed. I know things are dark, but I just watched the FedEx guy pluck a snail from the sidewalk, cradle it in his gloves, and find just the right sized tulip in our front yard to set it aside. Yeah, well that's good for the snail, but what about me? With my gentle cradling from a FedEx guy? For the very first time in my life, a tall person stood in front of me at a concert, looked back, asked, can you still see? And then answered themselves with, of course you can't, I'm like six feet tall, and then moved. I wish so many blessings on their house. 
I am trans and transitioned almost five years ago. My family has been slow to come around, but this year my uncle made a family tree for my grandparents and included my new name on it. Now that's just beautiful. They're not trying to make a big parade about it. They're not trying to draw attention to it. They're just accepting it. It's just, it's family. Maybe this doesn't belong here, but my grandpa passed away from COVID. He was a lifelong Christmas tree farmer. Looking at these pics of his farm, the simple beauty of his life's work put a smile on my face through the tears. He was a great man. You know, without the context of the post, this photo just looks like any other normal photo you'd take in a field. But with it, it turns from just a simple normal photo to something meaning so much more. Really ruins the whole point of this subreddit though, it's made me smile, not made me feel! Ah! The first number in my scale has been a two for the past 21 years, but not today. Ha! Take that! Frick you, too! I have a confession. When my husband gets stuck on a part of a video game for a long period of time, I will look up the solution on my phone and then give him vague suggestions to push him in the right direction. I've been doing this for six years. Okay, that right there, that is a, that, you cherish that, sir. You cherish this woman. People from 40 different communities showed up to this man's call. Uh, Chicago, I need 10 volunteers to help me shovel for seniors tomorrow. I'm getting too many emails from elderly folks that need help. Meet me at 79th Street, Red Line stop at 10 a.m. tomorrow. I got hoodies, hats, and lunch for anybody that comes through. Oh, imagine the awkwardness of arriving with preparing 10 lunches, but <laughs> having to get like three times that amount. Grand gesture nonetheless, though. What's that can't stop laughing moment where you're in a situation you shouldn't be laughing? Visiting my grandmother's grave with my grandfather for the first time a few years ago. Expected tears and a solemn day. Instead, we passed a grave marked Wanda, and my grandfather said, Well, I wonder what killed her. None of us could stop laughing. My grandmother would have loved it. After coming home from Iraq, Tyler's dad had nightmares so bad he feared closing his eyes. Tyler designed a smartwatch app to detect their onset and disrupt them with a gentle vibration. It just won FDA approval to treat PTSD-related nightmare disorders. Okay, so basically Tyler is an amazing badass man, and I hope his father is very, 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 very proud of him. Yesterday, I overheard a little kid asking their mum why I was using a wheelchair, and the mum simply replied, well, maybe his legs need a bit of extra help. You can ask him if he's happy to tell you more. No shaming the kid for asking. No treating disability as a hush-hush topic. Yes, please, more of this. My papa lost my gran in February after being married 50 years, and it's broke my heart how lonely he's been since. And today, came to me all pleased with himself, telling me he'd gone and found a group of men widowers to meet up each month to do woodwork, and they're letting him join. Yes, please, also more of this. I was offered a random day off due to an overstaffing mistake and took it. I decided to have fun with the pets. I got all ready for work like I normally would, and they did their usual job of trying to persuade me not to go, and I made a dramatic show of letting them win. They've been on a happiness high for the past three hours. <laughs> Hey, 2020 ain't all bad. I asked this handsome fellow on the right to marry me, and he said yes. Wait, your right or my right? It's, it's, I can't clarify. I don't know which one you're clarifying here. Well, you demonic offspring, it is that time of the video where it's Fenarty time, yay. Today's beautiful work is by Not Alive Undead 489. They're a Brazilian 11 year old fan, tried to make a fan made zombie thing, and that's it. Enjoy the art. Well, I will, but only because I choose to. You don't get to tell me what to do, you amazing drawing person, you. Thanks for the lovely work, Not Alive Undead. I love the details. Because who needs skin anyway? Ugh, that's so 2020. Remember to, folks, if you'd like to see your future fan art in a future video, be sure to post it in the MK subreddit. Now you have reached the end of today's rambly smiliness. I hope you have eventually smiled at some point in today's video. If you haven't, well then no refund, suck it. You'd, you'd be sad forever now, I'm sorry, I can't heal you. But what I can tell you to do is to like this video and subscribe with that notification bell clicked on so you can always be updated on the latest goodie videos. But of course, that is all for today, so I must say farewell. My name has been Jack. You've been a lovely person to ramble at as always. Love your face, and I look forward to seeing you for the next one. Until then, bye-bye.